Hi, I'm Mackenzie Millis, the Healthcare Marketing Specialist at Shellpoint, and I'm excited to invite you to an informational presentation on Monday, July 31st at 2.15 p.m. in the Social Center. Hospice, more than just end-of-life care. We have pulled together a team of experts to help educate you on an array of hospice services available to residents throughout the entire continuum of care. Carol Clark will serve as the moderator for this program, and the panel will consist of Dr. Roger Herchak, Debbie Gowing from Hope Healthcare Services, and our own resident support services manager, Janine Hammond. This informational presentation will leave you with an understanding of a broad spectrum of supportive services and resources that hospice can provide, and a clear understanding on when a person may elect to accept hospice services. The panelists will also address the most common frequently asked questions and will help dispel many of the most common myths about hospice care. Some of the questions will include, what are the qualifications to be on hospice services? And when might someone elect to accept hospice services? How will I know when the time is right to initiate hospice? And what is this fourth floor GIP unit? And why would someone go there? What is the difference between palliative care and hospice care? This, among many others, are the types of questions that you will leave with a full understanding as to the answers. This program you won't want to miss. Education is power, and this information will help all of us to make the best health care decisions for both ourselves and our loved ones. So please join me on Monday, July 31st at 2.15 p.m. in the Social Center. Seating is limited, so please call either of the service desks today to reserve a seat. Hope to see you there. Through a collaborative partnership with Hope Hospice, Shell Point has provided hospice services across the continuum of care since 2002. Located on the fourth floor of the Larson Pavilion Skilled Nursing Center, Shell Point's nine-bed general inpatient hospice unit offers both symptom management and end-of-life care in a beautiful waterfront setting. Shell Point's medical director, Dr. Roger Herchak, speaks about the decision to bring hospice to Shell Point. About 15 years ago, the only service we did not have at Shell Point was hospice. And uh, at that time, uh, President Peter Dice um, said we should have hospice services at the end of life or if someone is hospice served and they're in need of pain and symptom management, why would we want to send them to another location? Our job is to keep our residents here at Shell Point. So in conjunction with Hope Hospice and, and our staff, we had a blending of staff and we opened up our hospice unit. Samira Beckwith, President and CEO of Hope Healthcare and Hope Hospice, talks about the importance of hospice and their relationship with Shell Point. I really believe that hospice care at Shell Point is so special because both organizations want the best care possible for the people that we serve. And because of that, both organizations, the staff, all work together and the volunteers to be sure that the care is the best possible. Dr. Hershack clears up some misconceptions about hospice care. One of the misconceptions is that hospice is a place for people to go to die. And that is so far from the truth. But it's not always a one-way street when you get into the hospice unit. In order to qualify, someone could be hospice served, but yet they may not see me in a GIP unit. Uh, that floor is like the intensive care unit of a hospital. If one's symptoms cannot be managed in, uh, at another lower level of care, and that could be chronic nausea, pain, uh, restlessness, uh, shortness of breath, and then you qualify to come up temporarily to the GIP unit into that intensive care unit where they are seen by a doctor every day and uh, they get intensive care. So not everyone that goes to the GIP unit um, is there for a one-way stay. So I always say you lose nothing, but you gain everything because you get to keep your primary care doctor, uh, you get to keep your ancillary services, but hospice will supply you with uh, medications that are related to your hospice diagnosis. You will get access to uh, an RN, a number of other services, chaplain services, 
Sonny Torres, the director of spiritual services, stresses the importance of helping patients and their families during and after their hospice stay. It, it's an important part of their lives, the spiritual side of things. And um, even though death is a very physical thing, it's where your soul and your body have to make the, the split. And for them, they just need encouragement um, that, that they're, they're gonna be okay. The hospice unit at the Larson Pavilion is successful due to the collaborative efforts between hospice and Shell Point employees, along with the help of resident volunteers like Janet Bendel. I feel what I can give is really trying to help the nurses, do what I can to help the nurses. Most of the time, the people here on the floor have family visiting with them or um, friends because we're so close here at Shell Point. But I feel I can do something to help that family maybe. Oftentimes my time is spent talking to the family or I can do anything I can to help the nurses. It's not easy for them, but the, to have a, a shoulder just to, somebody to talk to. Sometimes that's all they need is just somebody to talk to. We really believe at Hope that the Shell Point residents as well as many people from the community benefit by having the Hope Hospice Unit at the pavilion because they can be as close to home as possible. They're able to visit their friends, their family members when they're there, and they're able just to stay in their own community. Shell Point's business software analyst, Marsha Hawkins, has experienced these benefits of hospice firsthand. And I am the youngest of five children. And as mom got older, I decided to move back home here to help take care of her knowing that eventually she would need more help. Later on, she needed the hospice care. Being able to have my mother here while I worked here was, was fabulous. The nurses and the aides were all so wonderful here at Shell Point. One of the things I like most about hospice is the loving nature of caring for your loved one in such a special manner, making sure that they're comfortable and not only that, the, the nurses and aides made sure I was comfortable. We try to get people out of pain and still stay alert enough to carry on conversations with their loved ones. And through hospice services, we were able to do that. At hospice, our unit of care is the person who is the patient as well as the family members. So we really do focus on the family members equally in the way that we focus on the patient. Just being able to be there and to draw something of life out of the families is really helpful, I think, even for the resident who's hearing all this because, you know, just the comfort of having their family there. Because it's a passion of love. Um, I, I try to uh, meet people where they are, especially for people from the outside, not Shell Point residents, they'll say, boy, this is unique. I just feel the presence of love, and the presence of the Lord. We came to the right place. And when our staff hears that, we've accomplished our mission. Because I believe that Shell Point will continue in that same tradition of wanting the best for people.